Uh, looks like we're getting a team of purely all modded stuff here. These people want to do the, the palette swap stuff. And... Oh, he did end up picking up Star's Wesker. That was like a suggestion I remember making offhand once. <laughs> Nick Bad, receptive to the, their fellow commentators, learning all the time from things. And uh, that was kind of sick. <laughs> going for these air down H's. Good patience. Yeah, Tatsu and not going to protect you versus this man. Yeah, that slide, such a strong poke, reaches from so far away. It, it's does. like a Nova 2M, except uh, attached to something that has all the health in the world. And, and a bionic arm. Ooh, and oh, it's... got the hit, but didn't quite get the confirm. These chestnuts are roasting, and no, the bionic arm is going to punch this US agent out of existence. And Soccer ready for the pickup. Uh, she's one of the characters who gets to use ground bounce pretty well, but the only thing is that uh, Asura's arm bounces in the first place, so she doesn't get to use her wall bounce follow up to get the combo going. Wow, just oh, fast enough. That would have been so bad. First yeah, time. if Nick Bad had timed that, that would have been the end of the Golden Knight. Well, they're not falling to one of the uh, habits US Agent players will have is that his charging star is now a normal and isn't at all like the other version. Mm, yes, it, it is nowhere near the type of Unga neutral tool you could use to uh, make people afraid of you at more ranges. But Asura here has meter, can do damage, has X Factor available, goes for the punch, and then I think the DC from Soccer he is not going to kill. But Get the chip. A single hot again afterwards is enough for sure. Okay, game one, Nick Bad. So, uh, St. Nick Bad trying to make sure that he could get this done quick, wants to uh, get there on route for the delivering presence. But it looks like Golden Nut here was using some of those Pasu loops. Oh, but gets immediately happy birthday afterwards. Nick Bad has three. been so good at taking advantage of Asura's health because he's been hit first uh, in both of these situations, but then just has managed to turn the situation into something so much better, gets the happy birthday, everything goes well. Oh, and okay, bring back, back in, in that Asura. <laughs> Straight to Fighting battle. Full screen. Oh, and now a different happy birthday. Who keeps it going? Damn. Ah, uh, nice try. Yeah, that, that would have worked if there hadn't, uh, if not as much time as been used beforehand. Oh, almost had it, but um, this is looking scary for Golden Nut. Uh, but fortunately, gotcha blinking. Yes, oh, he's having a little trouble with the timing on that jump cancel. Okay, trying to get the combo flashers, but since that's a hard knockdown, Soccer can just dash up an OCG. Oh, and the focus all the way up to maximum. That was so unfortunate for Golden Nut. Nick Bad is ready, but the Tatsu with. Oh, and gets caught by the beam trying to jump up into it. How unfortunate for Golden Nut. And with that, Nick Bad goes up 2 0 over Golden Nut. Is Saint Nick Bad going to take this set, or do you think Golden Nut has what it takes to run it all the way back? Yeah, Golden does have a few other character options if they want to uh, bring in their main team a little. Okay. Nope, sticks to the tried and true. Maybe a different anchor. And Asura has really been the star of the party so far. Soccer has been doing a good job of following up, but Ooh, Nick Bad has been getting happy birthday so consistently. Oh, I love Stranger. I... Very strong character. Pretty good anchor. Gambit is dead. Think, thinks differently of it. Uh, I do think that Stranger can definitely fight a couple of these characters pretty well. But... Let's see what ends up being the path of victory here. Is Evil Ryu going to be able to get enough momentum wow, to do something? quick oh. hit. Nope, can't get the extension. Doesn't need it. And wow. the jump to A to just such a solid poke for Nick Bad. Has been used at the right times in order to hit his opponents consistently. Oh, thank you, Shatter Coin, for gifting a sub to Among Shadows. Thanks to both of these excellent people, Shattercoin economically supporting the community through this and being able to support not only Among Shadows and having access to cool emotes, but also the Avengers by, by making sure that 
all of the work they do and all of the uh, resources they invest into making sure we have AWS servers to play on can at least some level of, of be compensated for. Thank you, Shattercoin. And Among Shadows, uh, Among Shadows, one of the people who pioneered a lot in modding Marvel, had made the character Waxbot, which uh, we don't see today, but explored a lot of amazing concepts and also even after Wackbot has continuously been making super characters has been doing really interesting stuff and observing what the Anim Char does and all kinds of other stuff so good, good stuff there among shadows and great stuff here to Saint Nick Bad uh looks like he made sure that he could make it to all the houses on earth this evening because making that a fast 3-0 wizard Tim mm-hmm I'm trying to think of the We'll see how it has developed and how it will fight off this point, uh, Venom. What types of tools do you think they, they're each going to employ in this matchup? Play Thanos once and now everyone's picking them. I mean, <laughs> X really makes great use of just Ooh. having targets that are tall. It's pretty hard to dodge, but you know, this is the team Ed's playing. It's a 200% team. You get that hit and you just run it all the way for the Gel. Oh, this is going to be the end of X, and then Captain Marvel is going to lose so much life in the process. Oh, <laughs> that was really good by Ed said. I realized they dropped the confirm they were going for and ended up fixing it by going into super early. Uh, knowing when you mess up is very important in doing what you can fix it. Oh, wait, but wait. happy birthday on the opposite side now. Oh, oh but it doesn't... Uh, I believe Renard it may have been confusing Captain Marvel with her uh, updated format, which is not yet out. My apologies to Renard, because we've been playing on the, the beta patch, which uh, Cavs has out, and Captain Marvel needs to do very different things in those situations. But Ed Sedai, using the level 3 perfect thing for this situation, is going to have 2 meters left available to kill off Jill. He turned into nice a Jill up. sandwich. Oh, the festive Jill sandwich. Like Venom literally ate her. <laughs> there is no punchline. Mm -hmm. I mean, Venom literally is a monster from Resident Evil in addition to being a Marvel character. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. So, looks like uh, this time Venom's taken a little bit more damage. X has still been getting smacked by the Venom movement into big buttons, however. And this is looking pretty scary for X. Let's see. Uh, he's pretty weird body-wise. You need to make sure your combos work on zero to work on X. And ended up going for the super in the same context here. Uh, Thanos is going to be available for DHC, and that does a decent amount of damage. Oh, and there's Oh, and now Virgil's in. Is he gonna stay in? Interesting to go for the, the raw teleport there. Oh, temporary terrors there. And Virgil pressing that oh, HS with a good work? frame trap. Well, it's a frame trap. He, it's why you advance and guard away so it, it doesn't become a frame trap. Oh, she lived but not for long, and now it's all up to stars, Jill. Uh, Ed Sedai has the Swords incoming mix-up, gets it, and doesn't have the Confirm quite available, but immediately dashes in with the Crouch Light and is going to be able to kill off Renard. Ooh, maybe not. Oh, with the TAC, definitely can. Oh, didn't just mm. Hyper there. I also would have liked just Hypering to kill this character that it is very important to kill. Uh, I also like the level 2 by Renard. It doesn't waste as much X-Factor time. It's a very and... fast little hit. What a mix-up. Oh, had... That was a great mix, but didn't confirm it into a dead Virgil. And now there are more chances for Ed Sedai to play, and there's not going to be any more for Renard. Oh, there is! One more chance, but not for long. Helmbreaker's enough. With okay, that, Ed Sedai going up 2-0. Venom's been winning the point war uh, pretty substantially each time, but then let's see if there are adjustments in how Renard decides to implement their zoning. Ends up getting caught by pressure in the corner plus assist. This is rough for Renard, but extra chance to live. That's a die. It's been doing a great job with most of these confirms. Some of the changes in how Venom needs to approach things. Oh, got the last bit of the Venom barrel to hit. 
it has a larger hitbox than the things leading up to it with the little tentacles. And now, it's a diet taking a lead in game three. Wow, got mm -hmm. stuffed by the assist. Yes, that that assist is a bit belligerent. Uh, I, I think that it has a lot of useful traits, even though I, I've mainly used the one that controls more space instead. Oh, left turret a pixel. Oh no, the Venom Breath even afterwards did, but it's First still in a great... First time reactive X Factor ever. <laughs> Ooh, let's see, and with this, gets the hit. Is he gonna X right away? X is yep, there. Yeah, call this it. Is going to... Killing Venom, level 2 into level 1. Oh, it doesn't even need the level 1. X Factor 3 is enough here. Oh, and that mix and because of the dash is able to get him back into the corner. This is looking very possible for an art, and we'll need to make it happen. Goes into the gun's THC, Thanos is down. Virgil has five meters on incoming here, though. Flame grenade, though. Gets the hit. Okay, this is looking really in Edsodiet's favor, just because of all the resources and, of course, the hit. With that, Edsodiet is going to take it 3-0 over an art. Great matches. So, uh... The French Fox down, drops down to lower bracket, and uh, mm -hmm. Ed's on no diet right now because these combos are full fat. He's on in the winner's bracket. Mm -hmm. What holiday tiding do we have next in terms of... All right, here we go. First match of the night. Now, I'll be yeah, honest, I have never seen Isis Hera play Thanos. None of us have. But we've seen a few other very talented Thanos recently, and I mean, this gameplay is straight out of the infinite version, you know. You have your shield, you have your teleport, and you have the cube. If you get the hit, the damage is disgusting from high heights with the cyber. I'm pretty sure that's one of the more damaging uh, routes for Thanos easily. And this is probably because gonna be a good Cyclops. Gundo. Oh. Well, I mean, resets are even better until you drop them. True. But uh, Shogun knows how to get out of the situation and use this very strong DHC protection route. Oh my god, I'm trying to remember which comic series that Cyclops uh, fit is from. Isn't that from X-Men vs. Uh, Avengers or is Avengers vs. X-Men? I want to say X-Men vs. Uh, uh, not the Inhumans. Uh, Fuck it, those names. I can't remember. I think it's Ward and Next X Men, I think it's called. It's been a while. It's great no, costume, not Avengers. Though. Oh, God, the damage from that meter list. Yeah, you set it up again. It's honest, but not weak when it comes to Thanos. Like, you can predictably block him, but the risk reward is so interestingly geared in this case. Yeah, the worst part about this is if Thanos gets an unskilled touch on you, like not from an assist or anything, you're probably dead because he can just do seven force swamps in a combo. And um, yeah, and even from assist, that's an Isis Hera's running to assist that scale pretty heavily. That's it's still a lot of damage though. Oh, cube at point blank, get pancake. Mm -hmm. And uh, Thanos is just. Excellent little aerial pressure there, you know, keeps it grounded and then once you set up the assist for further expansion. And I don't know which button is, but the uh, thrusting knee uh, move Thanos has is disgusting because it has so many frames of activation on it. It's just staggered. Look at the wave dash, or not wave dash, plinking. I it's mean, disgusting. Is this Sarah's like a Morgan Zero player normally? This doesn't surprise me. Oh, they also play Magneto. <laughs> Isis Hera playing like she has a time stone. Let's not bring back that mechanic, please. <laughs> oh, almost had a happy birthday. And catches you moving. Now you get to die. Can, you, oh, can she combo into snap? Please tell me Isis Hera can combo into snap. Damn. Get another one. I mean, she probably could, but at this point, might as well go for the kill. Last one. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the thing about Thanos, Infinite or Marvel 3, it's such a fast kill. 
dare say Thanos, you know, with Isisir or anyone, you know, competent playing him is faster in this game than in MVCI. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, I mean, no breaker really helps. Kevin, can you replace the Havengers logo with a snowflake? That's a Nexus. <laughs> A snowflake, Wait. maybe a snowman. I mean, this is what I totally love about Cone Engine, is you get backups. Now we see Firebrand, and I like when Firebrand's on screen, all things considered. I mean, I like Firebrand as much as the next person, but I think he's fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, it's not a skill issue, it's just a fantasy issue. Oh. So, Morgan, if there's a character that can pretty much deal with everything Thanos can bring out, and reliably win the matchup. I mean, yes, Morgan is already a top tier character, but in particular, she is so well geared for dealing with Thanos if you can get out of this corner. That said, you are fighting Isis era. Yep. And <laughs> the combo route built so much meter, and like, Jill has one of the perfect, like, pickups, yeah? And I guess Captain Marvel can, you know, finish it. Mm hmm. Thanos' damage is just like, it doesn't matter what game he's in, he's a high damage character. Have you seen his combos in Marvel 2 with the bubble? Oh, oh, that was almost perfect use of that grounding assist. I don't think that's unreasonable. And plus, I'm sure there's still damage being left on the table with Thanos, so him taking a nerf is probably... Completely yeah, I think he's fine, but yeah, maybe maybe a slight damage nerf. Who knows? I said I'm the same angle that Chris hates. Yeah, a I... slight character gifted spot. I think her. This is probably one of the few matchups where meteors is actually pretty decent. In most of her matchups, it's hard to use. Oh, and uh, Handgrove zooming around with the Clea movement, but neither of them have gotten a clean hit yet. Almost was there though. Really nice counter all by Tancroft getting the uh, access to the pendulum in order to fight off uh, the toxin. Oh, and Chris was a little too high. Nice. But sometimes you just need to get in there with a low. Tancroft going meteors. in and. Will you get Doom Tags? Let's yeah. go. <laughs> with that, Chris goes down. And Doom needs a... Oh, there's enough time to tag out, but not get the mix-up off of it. Oh, can potentially confirm off the of flame carpet, but didn't quite get it that time. Ooh, yeah, Pendulum looking... actually really good against Wesker. It just eats his teleport spots so much. Yeah, Pendulum covers a lot of very important spaces in Marvel. Oh, and I like that X-Factor here from Living Legend. Oh, it decides to smog gamer at who? Interesting decision to X-Factor and then smash as opposed to X-Factor and kill. But, uh, kills the raccoon very quickly. Do you think Doctor Doom see... can make this comeback? Uh, very, very possible. Legend has two characters that aren't the greatest in the world at chasing Doom, and die pretty quickly. Oh, and didn't end up getting a DHC there. I, I kind of feel like that was a demon setup and then it didn't quite work. Oh, X Factor, Tan Growth. And still gets death by bullet. Living Legend with such precise shots there, making sure to cover the angles that Tan Growth is moving. Great work. But also, it uh, looks like they're pretty scared at the start of this, but hits the Magnum. Happy birthdays, kills off Raccoon. Clea gets another chance to play, but that was still a very uh, effective start around for Living Legend. And now it's all up to Solo Doom again. Do you think that uh, Clea's or this shell is going to be able to have the Solo Doom problem come to fruition, take out Living Legend? Mm -hmm. Oh, the incendiary stopped them. It's very possible. When you have X Factor, you have the bar and decent matchups, but that's just the legend factor. They really have seen it all in some cases. Oh, that was really tough. The incendiary grenade being there made it too hard to get an ideal kind of even with the hit on Chris. This time it's going to be possible. Chris is done, but Wesker Kuma available to try and fight this. Incoming mix-up is entirely possible. 
to mess up either of these characters. But the throw ends up connecting. I don't know. Uh, level 3 is available here, so this is just be the end of Hand Grove's Doom. And with that, Living Legend putting another game on the board, going up 2 0 against Hand Grove. She was yeah. looking like she could make that that uh, solo Doom comeback there, but Living Legend's Wesker, too solid, just couldn't let it happen. I was say, a very fundamental player of Legend, they are also just nowhere they can find little bits of habit that you've built up and punish you for it. Mm -hmm. You saw every Definitely foot die that was player. eaten by a flame grenade. Oh, <laughs> Raccoon was able to get all the way under the flamethrower. Uh, so will Clea manage to either de get a way to get out, find a way to interact with all of this? Because she doesn't have meter right now. Oh. She has a really strong you know, ability to run usually. Yeah, she could definitely occupy places that Chris doesn't particularly like trying to hit. But with Living Legend just able to be a threat at all locations. Oh, this is looking like potentially the end of Chris. Oh no, he was a little bit too high. And Tamgrove getting some of these hits, but not quite confirming them into death the way that Living Legend is. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh... You probably not fight many other Chris's in the world, so the first time you'll be learning the matchup is against arguably one of the best players to play this character. Yeah, there there are a few other amazing Chris players out there, but chances anybody has matchup experience with any of them is rough. Oh, the prone shot has been so effective! And with that, Living Legend is going to take it 3-0. It looks like that, that prone shot was making it very frustrating for uh, the raccoon to try and act, but I need to hop off to play my match against Zoroyo. Good luck and have Good fun, luck. Also, ooh, Zoroyo. Glad to see they are fighting the modded team, so they usually stick mm -hmm. with it, unless they really didn't want. Fight. And geez, this is a team oh. lineup that Nyx has to be afraid of. The damage output of Orange Hulk means that even Asura dies pretty quickly. Oh, has the follow-up on deck? Oh, but doesn't get any more afterwards. And with that, Asura ends up dying. It, it is either negative for Hulk, but that is still pretty scary for Soccer. Just dealing with this Nyx getting command thrown immediately. Dang, Tutamax's offense is just so strong. And this character uh, is very compatible for the with the base meta that Tutamax plays for their team. Oh, gonna see the, the bombing run. Oh no, Tutamax ended up getting hit by the end of that. Okay, big shield and with the, the red shield. health. Oh, is Tatsu? Tatsu gets Rocket. blown up by the human rocket. Okay, Stars Wesker. Oh, players. managed to get out of that. That's not invulnerable this is no anymore. Longer invulnerable, friend. <laughs> okay, oh, no. that'll do. Oh, is this going to be enough? Oh no, Stars Wesker taking some damage. Two to Max looking to clear out this victory, and with that, the triple hyper seals the first game. Uh, two turtle doves <laughs> going up to that partridge in a pear tree status. Let's go. That's how Hulk players say hello, DP straight to your face. It's a pretty good hello for the start of the round. Highly recommended for Orange Hulk. He doesn't have access to the standing gauge armor like regular Hulk has, so uh, his general starting game is a little bit different as a result. Okay, trading damage on the assist. And a little bit more than paint. Thank you, Shattercoin, for gifting me. Subscription to Captain Backpack. Thank you for supporting the community. Oh, but Asura is also able to kill Hulk. And with that, Nick Bad takes out Orange Hulk and is down to just the base characters from 2 to Max. Let's see how well they end up fighting this Asura. Uh, Nova's going to have to probably DHC or something, because killing Asura is a bit hard. Oh no, after hitting Human Rocket. He's probably still going to need to DHC in order to kill this character. 
Oh, instead goes for a double super using the drones to link in between them, building some extra meter off the drones. Nice stuff by Tudor. Right. Don't count out the Sakura, but wow, great use of the left, right. Tudor Max on point this evening, but Nick Bad has his newest character in X Factor 3 with two meters available. Oh, but will not for long. Udamax has the hit here. Oh no, there's there's more chances, but they don't last very long. Udamax now going for the kill on Nick Bad and going up 2-0 in this winner side set. So, though personally, if I had hit Sakura, instant X Factor. Don't don't give him multiple chances with that character. Give him multiple chances with Star's Wester because you know the character's new. <laughs> He's strategic because soccer is terrifying, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is. Wow, Tudamax is forced it out. Okay, but soccer is still coming in for this. Uh, soccer replacing Captain America. Looks like uh, he's willing to play with this setup. Was able to do better against Orange Hulk with the server last time. Let's see how uh, the main game Deadpool stuff ends up working. Oh no, we're not going to get to see it because Orange Hulk is a character that does damage. And this oh, is going to be it. the end of... Oh, didn't end up getting closer. Okay, still but still out. kills. Oh, and that jump S. This is going to confirm into so much damage. Sakura is potentially dead. Oh no, it didn't end up OTDing with uh, the no Wimpers. Okay, he breaks out, gets the extension, the run. Oh, Sakura potentially getting some momentum here. And gets the reset, to the Max was matching. Sakura done. An Orange Hulk has his assist available, but is fighting at Factor 3 Strider. Uh, and Orange Hulk does have plenty of health, but not enough to survive this. Uh, let's see if Nick Bad's able to get the damage done quickly enough with this x axis 3 time available. Almost has access to orbs. Gets the hit though, this is going to be great for him. Unless he misses his satellite summon and with that, Nick Bad is now going to be out of X-Factor. But does have the kill on Nova first, it's going to be X-Factor 3 Sentinel with 3 meters versus Strider. Uh, do you think this is going to be 4 hits for Strider to try and win? I mean, it's Sentinel, probably three and a half. <laughs> oh, Hold well, on. it was four hits much more literally for that little Strider there. <laughs> well, not, a, not four openings, but just four hits and Strider Two dead. Turtle Dove Max <laughs> continues their reign. So much power there. And uh, they had performed quite well last week, or uh, Two weeks ago, I did Marvel not once, but twice, with a tournament here on Monday and another one on Thursday. So, you may want to go to nexus.gg slash uh, and if there's any Capcom games you want, try to acquire them. Uh, Quack here, going in with the Spencer Frank Schuma, and going oh. for the TAC loop to get up to level 3. One of those very unorthodox, but still incredibly cheap teams. Is Spencer with these assists is still terrifying. Let's see, extra chance. Oh, ended up getting caught there, but I didn't have the first confirm available, did have the second, however. Uses the Tyrant Charge to set up the jump loops. Uh, this builds a lot of meter when he does the jump loops, even if it scales his damage very badly. Let's see if the super into DHC will be enough to kill off Spencer here and needs to DHC early in order to catch him, but DHC the little too early, Spencer lives! And wow, very nice work to Ed I get the so, first kill here. This is actually a leveled prank, even if it's only three. Normally Quack seems to leave this character on one a lot. Nice roll! Yes. Thanos is also very beefy, so killing him takes a lot of resources. Uh, let's see. Oh, didn't get it there, and now Venom's coming back in, but isn't going to be alive for long. Uh, ends up dying to just the super here, and that auto times the incoming. What do you think Quax uh, mix is going to be here? He has uh, the Bell Ray roll, available. I think after extra layer. Yep. That big button oh. got his cross up. Wait, do I? Ooh. 
Oh, this is going to catch Virgil. Oh, did not catch Virgil. I'm out, amazed. It. Yeah. I think Quack was intending to kill Virgil there, and then uh, Virgil got out, so the X was to save the situation at that time. Yep. Uh, strange Shuma body saving the character right there. It's the hit. Kill this character. Okay, and now with the mix, is going to just chip out for a little while. Gets the hit there. And with that, Shuma is going down. This is going to be all up to Frank West. He's level 3, but needs to deal with uh, Virgil with a decent amount of meter. With the Thanos assist available. And got Mix. Nice work. Etsa Diet going to take the first. Wait. Oh, no. Nah, still taking it. <laughs> I, I maybe could have funny face smashered on Wake Up, I, but I don't even know. Etsa Diet, though, that's amazing. Taking on someone as scary as Quack is great work, but we'll see if Quack is a little bit more prepared to take the first character this time. Goes for that snap, does not. He just got another great name. It's Quack Frost. That is pretty good. Nice work, Jesus. the extension. Five is best, but four is pretty damn close. Yeah, four, I think, is the threshold where he becomes more threatening. Five is his bonus. Oh, and gets the bounce on Thanos, and because of that, manages to take out a good half of his health and get an incoming setup. And nothing he managed to confirm off of, but still quite good. Oh. The only character of bigger buttons than Thanos. That is very challenging to make up. Yes. <laughs> and with that, Thanos is it going down. Up for staying uh, front. <laughs> I I am amazed that didn't work, but Quack now going to get the opportunity to get the hit here, has X-Factor available, all the meter, has many opportunities to destroy in this situation, and with that, is this going to go into the first super? Mm, maybe it would have been good to X-Factor early, but instead going for the more stable finisher, just arm, ADK, arm. Okay, first victory for Quack. Team looking very crisp. Both of them playing excellently tonight. It's nice to see the thriving power of both Ed Diet and Quack. Uh, but let's see how they wow, both end up approaching Great confirmation. Mm -hmm. Stop that zip, and with this. Venom is going to take a lot of damage, but is he gonna die? No, he is not. Not seen that many players do snap meta with Spencer. Interesting. I think that one of the things that is is interesting is Quack wants to make very sure that he doesn't run into that uh, additional Virgil uh, opportunity for everything to go wrong. And that that was a pretty <laughs> crazy solo mid screen you just set up there. Spiral Sword is activated. Gets to just waste so much of that. All of it, in fact. Nice work to quack on the defensive play. Oh no, just needed Protection to match. And the Bionic Arm is gonna get blocked. Oh, the shopping cart was still active, so didn't get to get a mix up. But now this is looking scary for uh, Etsudai. Quack has. Such a good potential incoming mix, and gets oh. the hit, and uses it to level up Frank. Only gonna get leveled to three here, but then gets to level up the rest of the way to four. This is looking scary for Thanos. About to get very cheap here. And Bionic Arm, and with that, Quack goes up two to one against Ed's diet. Looks like they're prepared for the holiday season. Wow, immediately cross over. Let's see how much BFR yeah. Ed's gonna invest on this kill. High HP character. Oh no, didn't manage to get it. 
And now all of that pressure from Quack is going to build up. Even though the first hit wasn't able to secure the kill, the second one definitely has what it takes. He's still going to need to use at least two meters to make it happen though. Oh, and decides to set it up in such a way... Oh no, this isn't going to get him many more than uh, up to level 3 and it won't kill Venom. But the dry tag is there, and with that, Quack is now going to get up to level 4. Will not get up to level 4. And really nice use of that uh, Venom assist defensively by Ezzedai. This does a bazillion damage. <laughs> uh, very dead Shumagora. And is not going to hit with the Dimensional Slider. <laughs> the last hit is still in there. The oh, he wasn't the ready for there. the armor. The So, for those who don't know, when Thanos was punching there, he's an armored man, so he was able to deal with the bionic arm. Very nice stuff by Ed Sedai. Using that assist in a strong way, it would be effective defensively even in that context. Said, uh, you can't just leave things out when the enemy has hypers that can punish like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Quack's done this before with underleveled Frank. Yes, hasn't even needed him to be up at 3 to make it happen, so this is looking very scary. Hit from the opposite side, and with that, Quack takes it 3 to 1 over Exodite. Right, you said the zombie mid screen. Right, what tiding comes up next? Oh. Let's see. Oh, is it going to be the the season of, of Tan Growth and Holly with, against the Living Legend? Mm -hmm. I think a PS1 version of Marvel versus Capcom, which has some cool features, but on some PS1 models, it turns real bad. <laughs> okay, oh, no continuation of the God Nap. Zerayo is definitely playing a team that's all about the aggression here. Yeah, I just wish I could play my fucking Capcom, but he's in... They're coming yeah. back soon. He's in developmental hell. God damn, look how fast he is. Mm -hmm. Sarah and I'll be smoothing. This movement, and here comes the absurd quantity of damage. I like Sarah could have gotten a teeny bit more of one more OGG there. I didn't have any more meter. Oh well. Oh, Hambit is about to die. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she does chunks. Okay. All I'm seeing is Novas and Captain Marvels. I mean, the fact that they share a lot of motion style uh, elements in common is really funny. Uh, I don't think it actually played Legend. Um, for whatever reason, I think if Thanos is like on point, his theme doesn't play. I think it's like always the other one. Like it's not playing now. Nice adjustment. First one dies to Sarah. Zoroyo is fighting, though. Yep, player two theme always plays. Easy adjustment there. Oh, there's one way to fix that. Uh, can we just make everyone's uh, theme the Thanos theme? <laughs> nah, some of the other themes are pretty good. Speaking of pretty good, uh, this is like one of the best happy birthday hypers in the game when you get to this height. <laughs> oh, there goes the neighborhood. Good block. Bomb breaker loop. And yeah, the DHE to Jill, just perfection. God damn, he's just literally a meter battery. Mm -hmm. 
And at least at Infinite, he had trouble catching a lot of the other top tiers, so you didn't see him too often. I also think his matchup with, like, Sigma was absolutely awful. Yep, that's the spirit. Just plow through everything. Make great utilization of all the elements Asura has to bear, including this massive health that keeps him and Thanos back for a bit. Okay, Zoro gets another chance, has access to X Fist if they need to. Oh, that's a oh, dead game. Wow. Maybe. No, they did way too early there. And the recovery just from the, the overall recoil there. The Zoro played that perfectly. <laughs> that's armored, it's not invulnerable. Wow, I said I didn't have enough time to chip. Cool, nice check on the cave in it, Dave. But you've played Ed one too many times, you usually know where to look for <laughs> He's like, my toes got burned. Look, he'll, he'll be back. Eventually. You know what's one thing that's great about this game? You don't have to hear Nova Force full throttle every three minutes. Yeah, well, throw. <laughs> but, uh, money bags, uh, what you're saying, it's like, probably after this tournament, we might see, uh... Thanos get some kind of adjustment. Thanos is getting adjusted. That's already been confirmed. Hey, while we're at it, can we nerf, you know, Orange Hulk too? Give him Thing Dash. Nobody should have Thing Dash. <laughs> it's not real. It's an illusion. Okay, there'll be three crisis reserve things, and they keep running into random enemies. I seem to make random enemies with just like everyone, though. Unfortunately. It's you, you told me, uh, okay, if it's not in there, <laughs> like, uh, you may have the problems if everyone you run into wants to fight and kill you. Oh, but Golden Nuts Evil Ryu getting hit here pretty hard. Edsa has always been able to build a bar and a half, but Evil Ryu only going to make it out. Lost half their life, but no meter spent. Uh, I don't know why, but I think Tap saying zero effort on that fucker is the funniest thing I've read tonight. <laughs> I could feel like just like wow. Uh, <laughs> yes. It was one of the Tabs' early projects, and the amount of effort he puts into projects has scaled exponentially because there's been 10,000 new tools developed since he did his first project, and because of that, he's had to do work on every single one of those things that the new tools do, on True. top of all the stuff he did on his original projects. So like now everything has different models on on. Uh, different skeleton setups and then there's going to be new animations for all of these things and then on top of that he needs to like he'll borrow something from base game like captain marvel uses that beam that's uh, akin to nova's but he doesn't want his to hit gigantically behind the character like nova's does so he needs to do even more work just because things are janky in base game. and there's no hitbox viewer either so <laughs> Ooh, nice pickup though hey, very Mario nice indeed has... Excellent DHC synergies that are unique to them, and their mechanics that get off the install. Mm, Legends kids watch the beatbox battles? Oh right. yeah, all of y'all appreciators of music, whether you be young or old, uh, may you appreciate whatever is calling to you, and this is the time of year that people will not get upset if it's the thing that you like is Christmas music, so, so you do you. Great pickup. Mm, is not going to be able to kill off of this though. US Agent is too healthy for that. <laughs> not by much though. And with Actually, that, what, it's down none to of the projectile nullification tools makes that matchup a lot harder. Mm. With this hit, Edsedai goes in but gets oh, the no. mix up immediately afterwards. Is this the combo that's going to kill? Needs back face spiral sword. Okay, there we go. This is going to kill now. Uh, just as long as they keep it simple, get the kill. Oh, ended up dropping it. Oh, three. Aww. So, needed to go for snaps, and, or no, could have just pressed crouch light probably and would have been at frame advantage, but snap I think would have punished. Oh, and this time Golden Nut getting that hit with Evil Ryu has been going for these loops, which are really sweet, using the air toxic to bring people back down to the ground for relaunches without needing to lose PG. But uh, it looks like each time they've done a decent amount of damage, but then drop. 
He barely avoids that. This time, not so lucky. Yeah, Venom is so happy when he does that move in the air. <laughs> he is. He's so he's, jolly. He's the best of joy. He is. He's a very jolly symbiote. Uh, any not Brock anymore, because now he's a dead. does like Christmas. <laughs> I mean, to answer some of the questions in chat, like, yeah, you two's done some stupid stuff, but it can't, you know, hold a candle to the 36 hours of free porn on Twitch. That and was careful. horrible. Well, refrain from bad mapping the platform where we're on it, please. <laughs> oh, and it looks like Thanos here is didn't quite get the confirm that they needed, and because of that, is this going to counter? Oh no, I, I don't actually know if that counters against physical supers. I assume not, but I do not know. Is it just me, or is that Thanos, uh, let's say, color, like, different? It looks cel-shaded. I, I just can't really explain it, it too well. Like, I feel like it's, uh, I still feel like it's from one of the Mega Bloks games or something. It's got that shiny plastic look. Yeah, right? He looks like uh, one of those Nintendo toys called. He looks like an amiibo. Amiibo, yeah. <laughs> I think he's from one of those kinds of games. Amiibo beatboxing? But let's see. Uh, is there going to be an adjustment you think we're going to see? Nope. That really likes this maybe game, and I can't blame them. Maybe you're the Gambit on point, maybe, instead of Evil Ryu? Yeah, Virgil looks like Virgil. Yeah. Uh, Venom looks like... He's wet. <laughs> Thanos looks like he's cell shaded. Well, Venom should look like he's wet. He's a, a semi solid he liquid gooey. substance. <laughs> oh, and those jump loops were able to build a decent amount of meter, but scaled things so heavily that they didn't do much damage. Gambit, on the other hand, uh, drops his combo, so it doesn't oh, no. matter what, how much damage it would have been. And this is looking like it yeah. should be. Oh, didn't do the thing that'll happy birthday, and because of that, we'll kill the assist. Oh, we'll kill Virgil. Virgil then. Oh, oh, the no. thought crossed up. It is profound sadness, no matter which version of the game you're playing, That's when crap. you get crossed up while you X Factor. Hey, don't count evil Ryu out. In front of your... Oh, Virgil's very it's dead. Like a semi truck. And get the shotgun Netsu out. Doesn't confirm off of it, though. So... Any clean hit here should let him kill Venom. He has plenty of resources, and also could shoot Venom a decent amount too. I think most of Venom's normal. Getting some hot the, uh, out. Can use the back dash option. Oh, that goes for that. Oh, so that was close. a little ambitious. Let's and Thanos with X Factor kills if he touches you, and I think he even this is just going to be there. But yes. I love how his X Factor, yes. X Factor animation is still hackers. He's like, yeah! It's very I mean, Thanos, Thanos just anyway. loves wrestling, right? The amount of displeased in Thanos' mouth shape there, he's so just, uh, but, but not I like it. I, remember it. Damn it. I said the hyper, it was supposed to be the special. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Right? Okay, Nova. Nova against Chris, however. When Nova has meter, so many things are just terrifying. Oh, but this is going to be the end of Nova, so it doesn't matter. Has access to Flamethrower to build a billion meter. Oh, it goes for the snap instead. And because of that, trade. Virgil is playing. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the X is on point. This is the end of Virgil and will be meterless, and that is great. Gets to get out a grenade. Legend knows what's likely to kill him first and deals with it immediately. As he should. Getting rid of Virgil should be a high priority for most players if they play this game. And oh, uses the level 3 on fantastic D. route. But let's see if 2 to max. You think he'll channel his inner among shadows and do something with this uh, Anchor Nova to blow up everything? Oh, I'm that's the first thing to blow up. Dry. Chris is down. And also has about half of X Factor left in order to mess with Wesker. That was a very quick hit, very ideal here. Should be able to kill off Wesker and do something to make it so Akuma's incoming is unpleasant. He doesn't need full X Factor to kill Gary, he just needs a hit. 
very nice work for Tudamax, bringing it back with the Anchor Nova after both his Virgil and his Doom were slaughtered. Ooh, getting out that machine gun. Some Let's Blitz see if work. Nova's... Uh, would you snap again if you were Living Legend? I think even though it didn't work out the previous time, I would still go for snap if I got the hit. For it. I, I think, think it's very right worth strategy. it. Oh, but it looks like the one going for a snap here is Tudamax. He has gotten the respect for Living Legend with Uma. Highly recommended you respect this character, because Living Legend will kill you for not respecting him. I don't mm. think this quite kills. Just the trade there. Oh, Akuma gets saved, but Dr. Doom gets hit immediately. This is going to be... Uh, oh, gets another chance to live. This is looking very potentially good for Tudemax if he can confirm off the throw, but his Doom not quite as seasoned as his Nova. And using some foot dives. Looks like the, the gun's covering the ground. It's pretty effective. But now that mix has been so hard to block. The throw is in place though. Nova's going to eat a lot of damage. Will he die? It'll take Legend spending a bunch of resources if he wants to kill here. And Great he check. doesn't kill and is punished immediately for not killing this character. Oh, never mind. A little blessing on the side. Oh, no, he's in the middle of an uh, animation there. Indeed. Oh, and the... That's Phantom Dance like, for you. Sometimes it hits not where you want it to go. But Doom is dead, and now uh, with Nova coming in... Oh, no. Immediately dies, but Akuma also dies. It's up to X-Factor 3, Chris, and this is not the person you want to have X-Factor on your team if you're a living legend. X-Factoring early for meters is something he often does. But Chris just being your X-Factor 3 anchor has a rough time. And Tudamax looks very willing to just like take the full screen fight. There's 30 Marvel seconds left. That's a really long time. Neutral skip. Oh, I, I say that and then Tudamax says that's a very short time. Going to X-Factor immediately. Wait for us, X-Factor. Well, that was almost sick. It was almost the great way around it. Oh. Now, uh, and... Legend's oh, very susceptible to time out now. He's burnt the X Factor. He has X Factor available. Wait. Like a moth to the flame, he back ass into it. <laughs> oh, that crazy. He didn't heavy. throw many swords there. And with that, Legend tying it up one to one. Uh, that was quite a match going back and forth the entire time. Great battle between these two excellent players. Let's see another snap, I wonder. Because snaps really haven't worked for either player. In this case, Living Legend changing up the tactic, instead going for the X-Factor. That way he could kill off Nova Meterless, builds up tons of meter for the rest of his team, uh, hoping that the X-Factor will be worth more there, and now has access to THC, has access to level 3 if he gets a hit with Chris. Oh... And off of the tech throw hits of Switch Dive. Tudamax uh, integrating the Doom tech all over the court. Once a Hulk player, always a Hulk player. In is the new out. But Living Legend, because of that early X Factor, is up at four and a half meters. So he could do some guesses while having access to good DHCs, but gets hit by that incoming mix up. And Tudamax willing to X Factor to kill this Wesker off. And this should be... Uh, do you think he's going to go into Swords or Devil Tricker? Mm -hmm. Devil Tricker. Tricker. We have yeah, most of the X-Factor because of the hit stop on Doom, so... Might as well let it rip. I am so shocked oh, no. that uh, <laughs> the uh, Upper Cup Super didn't go through. Because that's like his mm. signature thing. Yes. It's very susceptible to being crossed up, unfortunately, because when you have to time it... Oh, he does the two button tech version. Oh. Like that, that's part of why it's good is that the way that Living Legend does it is once you have no more characters left, you triple hyper and it will auto correct the input for you to either face left or right. So, so, so that way he doesn't need to know his side. A great pooch pop. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh no. Uh, hope that Truffy does well despite running away and gets the jabs on Akuma but immediately gets the throw afterwards. 
Oh, I don't Nova think that Nova scare. can kill here. This is gonna hurt, but mm, going for the reset, I oh manages to get into a situation here where uh, lots of meter was forced out of Legend, but Legend. Oh, Legend doing terrifying right now, gets the throw, and Tudamax is going to take a serious amount of damage, but probably not die. And with that, decides to just go for a mix and gets it. This is going to be the end of Nova, and manages to do it meterless. Oh no, uh, goes for the hit on Virgil, and gets X-Factored immediately. How do y'all feel about this X-Factor usage? I mean, it's Virgil. We've seen it a million times. It's never not going to be good. Except when it doesn't kill, but that's when you have to do much, I mean, getting back the Nova health might actually be important enough, and you got the confirmed kill there, so take the momentum, run with it. Oh, Akuma's gotten so many chances at life, and this may be Tudamax's undoing. Ends up dodging, doesn't quite dodge the, the super. Oh, nice adjust. Had to block the grenade at the shield. Oh, almost had the, the OTG follow up because the grenade ate the hitbox for his orb. Could have potentially gone for the 6 H follow up there. Can't get any more. Oh, gets thrown and X Factor for Legend. This is going to be the end of Virgil, and it will be the end of Virgil without two max building much, very much meter for it at all. Don't Still ever challenge Legend with doctors. grabs. <laughs> oh. And this is going to chip for a decent amount. Uh, and grenades coming out. Doctor Doom in a pretty scary situation here. Gets the throw, and oh, the grenade is respect. still coming down. I don't even think Ooh, throw but it gets the hit. Yeah, back throw may have been better. And with that, though, Chris is going to go down. Let's see if Legend can she set misses? up the no hit misses. on Akuma. Oh, the fly! Oh, Gets no. the throw, has access to level 3. Is Tudamax going simple. to take out Living Legend? And with that, Tudamax sending Living Legend to the learner side of the bracket with their Nova Doom version. This I'm gonna all was hop... just... Oh, God. I'm gonna hop off to play my match against Quack. Good luck and have fun, Good Quack. Good luck. Yay. Okay. I think this is the first time Quack's coming up, yeah? Uh, they were on earlier. Were ah, okay. Over... Yeah, it's Quack Frost versus Isisera. Quack frost, Jesus. Uh, the battle of the uh, of the frost. Drop the pieces. The Nicosaurus team is excellent at peace disruption. But you can guarantee Quack can kill Thanos if he gets these hits. Yeah, I think any clean hit would, you know, and, you know, does the drop, unfortunately. It would kill anyone on Quack's team. Gets the pickup. Gets one more. And yeah, you get the full route because Thanos is a high HP character. Is he going to go for it? Looks like he might. Okay, he gets the pickup. Okay. Yep, gets the... Oh, wait, wait. Not quite. What a mix-up. But you still have paddles, and paddles... Like, this is the rare moment where I, I would ever say Jill is in a bad matchup situation. Yeah, because she's fast. What you're wanting to do is like cancel a block into X Factor to punish. It can't really be done on Frank too well. So like can jumping and gun, he, he can chase your height pretty much exactly. Oh, Isisera's patience level is way too high to try that out. But you have the Shuma protection. Good That's punish on Shuma. Safe. I don't think any of Shuma's supers are safe. I think he was just sacrificial. <laughs> Also, Captain Marvel actually has a great route for hitting Shuma, which is something unique. Some characters have a major problem with that. But Shopping Cart plus Spencer, still very good. And both are out of X Factor now, and uh, Frank West still has four levels, so... If it Quack is out of this, uh, it could be a very long match, though. It could kill without a meter. Oof. Nice avoid. Okay, so close to the confirm there. Yeah, Isazar has to respect any time Quack goes for a jump. Yep. 
And the other worst part about it is Frank was getting pretty close to uh, uh, chip territory. Playing it exactly where the way you need to. Map change, please. Okay, I want you to change the stage. All right, guys, we're going back to uh, Wonder Bond Land. Did it actually like Bond Christmas Wonderland? <laughs> One true state. It's That's the season. Great. It's always the season in Winter Bond Land. Yep, no change in the team order, I don't think. Yeah, Kushima. I mean, I could see him bringing in the rocket. Uh, that was a one match. Yeah, that was only one, one match. It was long. a really long match. These two are very matched well in terms of their skill level. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are you blocking overhead? Apparently not. Ooh, uncharacteristic drop. <laughs> Just right. keeps coming. They're gonna say that was. Oh my god! Crack is getting so good at that mid screen. Doesn't see a lot of characters with, like that flawless a mid screen, and like, he's really bringing out what he has. Okay, DHE option. <laughs> Quack can spot a moose in the tundra. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cheap. Ooh, rear drop. Ah, the stare down into a grab. Oh, look at that! Quack goes to Winter Wonderland. And gets perfect. Didn't know he was under the pay of Tron Bun. I would have laughed. I Sarah went in chat and said, "Hey, we need to change <laughs> the stages." <laughs> What is this, swapping chairs next? Ow. Yeah, this is what we expected to see. So much damage. One, two, three. Yeah, you got a raw block with Frank. Your defensive tools are not getting you out of that. That would have been interesting if it connected. Yeah, I think uh, Shuma just came out just like just like a second slow. Yeah, has to keep it together at the cost of X Factor because Frank needs that assist so badly to do anything. Now the good news is uh, X Factor is basically up at this point, and the beatbox comes. I'm not gonna lie, in MCU continuity, seeing Thanos fight Shuma would be really exciting. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, seeing Thanos appear in the MCU with the beatbox music starting would be... <laughs> that <more> would <laughs> also. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I am inevitable in any... It's the play button on, a, like, an old-school beatbox. There's definitely an edit that needs to be done. Though. Luckily, yeah. that Shima isn't in the MCU. That was Gargantos. Yep. Kind of close, but not really. Oh, the fuck. Autocorrect on that. Not really. You thought you killed Isisera, but in fact, Isisera is killing you. And God, could luck. Wait, who owns Isisera. Shuma? Is it like Sony or something? I feel like. Oh, no, he's a Fantastic Four villain, so I assume he's owned by Marvel. Hmm. Wait, the Cone of the Barbarian Crater owns Shuma Garath? Sure. It's not the strangest thing I've heard today. Alright, but while we're ranting about that, Isis Era takes another game against Quack. And, uh, is the winner of this uh, in Winner's Finals, or is that still a little too... One more match. One more match, check out. Okay, Isis Air really putting Quack on the back foot for almost all of these. 
Ooh, the team's just so well equipped to deal with these situations. Yeah, I've been Being able to kill one Spencer. low is a dead Spencer. Oh, wow, oh, rare God. drop. The one uh, cursed monkey paw with Thanos. The higher you get them, the more damage you get, but there's a small chance they drop. <laughs> he just kick his cube. <laughs> yep. I wish it would accelerate if he did that. Yeah, it's like, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> just imagining a version of Thanos, like Captain in Commando, where he can summon the black, like Legion, as his assists. Sort of like Ginyu from DB. I don't wow, want to jinx it, but I don't think I've seen Isis Hera use Thanos' overhead yet. A little. It's a bit slow. Why are those eyeballs still there? Because that thing lingers for flipping ever. It's a very weird arbor. Oh, that did not connect very well. No. But hey, X Factor does. Okay, one mix, hopper two. That Ooh, I think that was like cross under, crouch in, I believe. But I sincerely, I think you just dive kick there, so they traded. And there's so much hit stun on that. Alright, bye, Jill. Okay. This character is not going to be easy to play. Like, pinning down Cap with uh, Shuma is going to require an assist. This character is so nimble. Okay. Does Quack have these? Oh, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. You can hear back. it? One more dust. Uh, this is not going to go. Until you get higher levels, this doesn't do that much. Ooh. And with that paddle saws. Oh, wow, that actually didn't combo all the way. Two, two. That was so weird. It just looked like, you know, like a standard like Nova anti-air jab into a combo, but it just didn't work. <laughs> Kevin's remarking he thought he fixed the zombie plunder sound. Do we ever really want to fix that, though? I want to replace it with other sound effects. We can have visit a charity incentive. Maybe like each individual hit of the plunger would be like a single uh, beat from the beatbox. <laughs> huh. But mm -hmm. Oh, Wait. the bionic bomber only hit uh, Carol. It's a, I told you, both Thanos and Carol are probably have some slightly unique hitboxes, but I think they're both, like, imported. Oh, that's too far. And he recovered way too quickly for that to actually work. Oh, there goes Shuma. One of the grenades targeted Spencer. Wow! I can't believe that combo. He got hit. Quack almost made a perfect decision. Okay, X Factor about to pitter out. Um, I'd say this is almost pretty fair. Both players have like one bleeding character and one pretty healthy character. That was actually really smart to catch uh, the jump with uh, more chip. Uh oh. Think what you can get. Chip is relevant here. And using, sh yeah, using the Shuma tools just to buy a little time to heal uh, your. Point, probably a great idea. Does that still work? But, oh wow, it does. I thought like yeah, he felt it. Yeah, Harper is connects off of anything. I swear. <laughs> Doesn't want to deal with the fire grenades. Uh oh. Bring in Frank. He's not the hell. Wow, <laughs> the last eyeball. <laughs> Pick the eyeball. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I thought that crap. throw was gonna work, but Isisera sniffed it out. Also, he didn't go for it. Okay, it's all to. Calamardo here. Bill is just making a wall. Yep. All right, that'll do. Nice as there takes it. Three, two. She's a member of Stars, you know. That's what, like, Resident Evil 9 is going to start off with. You're just going to see Jill drunk at a bar and be like, I was startling. I, I'm curious if somebody, if it ever did end up going on screen, I'm sure there's somewhere that it would be good to get it. But, oh my gosh, looks like Ed Sedai is getting the first date with Venom. 
it seems like that Sedite's been very consistently doing well in the pussy side of playing Venom, but then their combos haven't quite been killing. He's definitely a character that requires a little bit of brainstorming, I think. Because I've seen all of our Venom players have slightly different reps between, like, Best Xbox, Ed, and Pipna. A fortune drop. Oh, and the happy birthday is very fortunate for Zoroyo. It looks like even from an entire another continent is still able to do excellent work. Oh my gosh, that is going to kill off both the point and the assist. Very nice. Oh no, Thanos gets a chance to live. Not very long though. Uh, this is Dark Virgil with 5 meters, so uh, was this actually anything going wrong, or is everything just according to plan for Ed to die? Well, as long as you've got Satan on the screen, nothing can be that bad, right? Uh, Zoroyo is going to have to try and live out this X-Factor, only uh, use a third of it to kill the first character, ends up investing their own X-Factor, forces more meter usage out. Uh, I don't believe that super works there. <laughs> Good try. With that. Okay. Virgil gets the kill here, but Asura, if Asura doesn't get hit quickly, he's going to need two hits from Virgil to actually kill him. Oh, but he didn't hit Virgil! The bionic arm goes very far, but not quite full screen, and with that, Ed Sedai is going to get this chance, but it's going to need to be very optimal if they want to actually Where's kill Where's he going to release is the resource. question here, is I don't think he can. Just decided to go for the Devil Trigger in Dimension Slash. Sets up the uh, round trip, and this is going to be enough to kill. Oh no, not! And this is what really happens when you don't three. kill. I don't know if the no, kill, Zoro. Theoretically. Keep it simple. Oh, another chance? Level 3, level 3. Just go into no, level three. just keep it simple! Oh my Always god, level 3! want you to level 3, Zoro. It, Zoro. It's much easier to Giant level 3 bubble. when you're on the same continent as the uh, the server you're playing on. Zoroyo, to my That's understanding, is not on the same continent of the server they are playing on. The, so sometimes you have to forgive things like that where they may have been going for level 3 and just like not getting it, because sometimes that's how it goes. Yeah, I, I do not know how Zoroyo fights through 10 frames of delay. It's like more than I... we Smash Brawl. <laughs> that, that's unfortunate. We but in general, if you're playing in... Oh in delay, Five. Just, there's so many. Zoroyo is so good at getting the hit with that move, but it just has not quite gotten the confirms with it, and this is going to... Oh no! Wow, Venom bounced too far! That was quite unfortunate, but looks like this time Ed to die it. Oh, uh, I believe the scores got put on the wrong side, uh, Kevin, because uh, Virgil took that last game for Ed to die it. Okay. Gambit's keeping it clutch. Oh, was blocking. And this character can just kill. That's perfect. Oh no! Oh, it has the loops? Didn't get the loop, uh, so he could just loop those supers because it OTCs and it has a, a hard knockdown with a ton of hit stun. That is one of the things Tab uh, is getting rid of in the, the next iteration, to my understanding. Oh, didn't get oh the Pixel Thanos! Wow, I was no more the corner, Thanos. I was worried it wouldn't combo. But this is also bye bye, what kind of happened last time. We we saw Ed Sedai's first two characters die, and then this character was still alive, and everything went wrong for Zoroyo at that point. Level 3 X-Factor for the glory of Virgil, of course. Uh, and there's an emote that, of the Avengers for when you are totally uh, playing Plan A the entire map, and then uh, Dark Virgil happens. <laughs> we oh no okay. we may not need it is Royal going to save us from the need for K Ha outplay? So yeah, Kevin goes so into level tips, three. I mean, uh... Oh my gosh! And with that, the Royal survives. Dark Virgil does not thrive today. Our champion makes it back against the Dark Virgil and survives. Very nice work, the Royal. Time to score up one to one. So what if you were trying to win a match with your giant sword and some guy was like, pick a card? <laughs> and then he had the ability to make everything in reality explode, because apparently he could just interact with things that have kinetic energy, which is, to my understanding, everything that exists, as far as, like, matter is concerned, at least. But, uh... Oh gosh, the punch to the face! 
Oh no, Nova got back into the terrible situation, and now Asura's gonna get another chance to live, however. Let's see if he gets the drag again, but this time he actually gets Pick a confirm off of it. Big bad, what would you do here? Uh, nothing, because he's made it farther than me in a tournament, you gotta be asking him. It was really funny that Nova's like, oh man, I'm glad I got out of that, oh shit! That's how it's also passed. You feel so confident that you're alive, and then you're not alive. Ooh, and then Gambit's gonna come into the mix. Ends up managing to not only block, but get the throw afterwards. X Factor 3 should be able to kill off Venom. And get it without needing to fight. Quite a bad newspaper headline. 10 out of 10 people who are dead are not alive. This is true. And with that, Thanos is done. But Zoroyo is going to need to get a hit into level 3 real quick. Uh, so, no getting strikes. a hit into level 3. So, if you were Zoroyo right now, would you try to snap? Because it feels like they have managed to do very well against the other two characters. But all of the, the loss that they have experienced has been Virgil doing damage. <laughs> Shout out to Manny and Moneybags for reminding us we are now manually breathing. Er no, we can make it worse, though. Are you manually blinking, too? Yep. And you just noticed that your tongue is in an uncomfortable spot in your mouth. Apparently I'm immune to that one. I also appear to be immune to that one. Hey, we're both lucky! <laughs> oh, oh, but you me. know who's Why not did you lucky? Why the word lucky? <laughs> Yeah, the luck was only ours. We stole it from the players who needed the luck much more because they're in a stressful situation. Wizard Tim and I apologize for our luck fever going on here. And those six H's have just been so consistent for Edsa Diet and winning neutral there. Uh, this time, Virgil is not the main character of the show. He had been for so many of the previous games, but this time, looks like Edsa Diet doing tons of work with his Venom. Yeah, it's starting to smooth a little here. And oh, nice catches catch. with the Venom Web. Now it's all up to Anchor Nova. Earlier we saw two to Max's Anchor Nova do terrifying things. Do you think that Zoraya will be able to do this as well? Well, if you don't get hit by swords, yes. Oh. Oh, went into blistering for style points. But then... Oh, it was all part of Zoraya the plan. ready to block the, the blistering. That was really nice. Oh, oh no, no, didn't get the OTG first. But Virgil dashed into it. Let's see, is this going to catch him? It is. This is the end of Virgil. Thanos loses almost all his life. It now looks very good for Zoroyo. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Wait and see. Uh, 180 MS, and then <laughs> Atis with the beam. Venom is going to come in, and now this is a very even looking combat in between two characters. The beam is going to catch, nice catch. but Venom's a healthy boy. He's able to make it through a lot, but is he going to be able to kill Nova here? I don't think off of that starter with the jump loop he's doing, it'll be possible to kill Nova without level 3. But will level 3 build? Um, Not quite enough to build a level 3, and because of this, Nova... Oh, Nova may just be dead anyway. Maybe the chip, yeah. Oh no, th that is not the move. Uh, could have done the human rocket, and there it is, but doesn't get the version that he could combo after. Oh. Zipped right into the shield. The zip into the shield. Dude, plus how the much health plus he more shield. He had no health left. And Zoroyo showing that even when the odds are stacked against you and you're just trying to survive with your last character, you're playing across a continent that you don't even live on. Excellent. You get to still Jeez. do amazing work. Oh no. <laughs> that it sounds rich like... Rich. That, that sounds like uh, an insult in some obscure gaming community. But I feel like Ed Sedai has been just doing really good with making use of Venom's air normals, his 6H, he's been playing great footies. Let's see if this time there's going to be an opportunity for Zoroyo to do much. Uh, not going to quite get it here. It's the for the jump loop. No extension. I think that Etsudaya thought their Thanos was still available, but somehow the Thanos was still on cooldown. So we've seen like them Mike go Tyson's into the punch out. 
Sometimes I just want to tell Etza to keep the combo simpler and kill the character. <laughs> but I don't think he'll I... listen. I understand. You gotta pull the Heath off and just use the Team Hyper when you can't kill. Yeah, Team Hyper is very good with Venom. It, we're doing, okay. especially when you have a Thanos stuff too. I want to see the snap. This era, how do you combo into the snap? Yeah, like right. this. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I guarantee and you he's been trying to do that the entire tournament. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that time Etta Diet was rewarded for it. Nice work with Royo, making it so far despite playing from so far away. We always appreciate your play. Uh, what makes Jake different? different? He's younger. A lot of uh, is, in I believe his yeah his Wekus, Wekus strings are different. He has like command run stuff. Uh, but I let's see how he ends up dealing with things like whirlwind with a beam and when his gun is too uh, X is short, X is zero height. You can't just like shoot at him like that. Oh, yeah. but you can't shoot at him like that. This is much better. Leon having a far superior tool for the situation. But now is going to get blown up. Doesn't die for it though. Yeah, this is what uh, Renard was playing me off stream earlier. This is why he deserves coal. <laughs> Wait, you're saying Renard deserves coal? He is getting coal chose... for this kind of play. I mean, yeah, you've, he's playing Jake's a good character well. <laughs> very unique oh. movement, but slightly less projectile heavy game. I thought, oh, he still he's has going the, to. Uh... When you uh -oh. face smasher? Oh, he no. set up bad work. Kevin's gonna get demonetized. Yeah, there are a few characters in this game uh, who th their language is a little different than I remember some of the other Capcom things being, but some of them are from Capcom games, so I think it just like depends on which Capcom game people I mean, are following. I don't. Uh, Ragnar the Blood Edge is a potty mouth in Blaze Blue. No one's cared. True. <laughs> oh, Leon in the corner here gets caught by the Blitz Blow, but there's no confirm off of it. And with that, Renard manages to kill off Leon. Captain Marvel here with a pixel, and no longer has a pixel. It's down to both characters having X Factor available. Dobbleish just gets a hit. Do they X? X is here. This should be enough to kill. Uh, ends up going into butterflies and evaporates Star's Jail before she gets a chance to play. Fun to see Dobby playing uh, Psylocke again. Definitely pretty sweet. Oh, uh -oh. got the happy birthday. Does Renard have the route for this? He does. Fortunately for X, his he routes pretty similarly on happy birthday. Oh, he dropped it, but then it ends up being okay anyways. Because he was out of range. X is one of the characters that moves backwards when he does a shot, kind of similar to how Storm does when she does Ice Storm. Oh, and Psylocke, after that first game went so well for Dobbleicious in a close fashion, it has immediately gotten so much worse. Okay. You have to be really careful where you're blocking, where you're not blocking with regards like that. Yeah, the, that was a scary situation. Second game tied up real quick. Uh, though first game there had been much more of the shooting. Second game there was much more of, or uh, much more of the happy birthday going on. Say. How much HP does Jake have? I never did figure that out. I don't actually know. It I'm is bad for someone it educated. It seems less than Wesker's, at least. Maybe like 900k, maybe. I would not be surprised with any health value for, for him, because uh, Tabs has gets the opportunity to figure out what health characters need, so we'll see see what he has. Yeah, Sherry and Hunk oh. are similar, but there are their own unique characters now. Really unique at this point, like Sherry has the whole electric uh, baton mechanic, and Hunk is more focused just on the dash and shoot. And Renard killing off Leon here. Psylocke had been incredibly influential to the game that Dobby won. Let's see if this is going to be a game where Psylocke really gets to show her work. Oh, she does. Oh, she no. gets to hit X. And oh, the cross up. <laughs> Expected her to keep running away. And Dobby with here? a great cross up. Uh, wait. 
Wow, punishing the jab, that's pretty amazing. Uh, this is going to be the end of Captain Marvel. Will the mix-up work on Jill? It will just go for the overhead and it works. Does this kill? Oh, why did I ask? X-Factor 3. X-Factor 3 in the corner. <laughs> it's gonna kill. Yeah, that that was instant evaporation. <laughs> yeah. uh, you got hit by like every single species known to man of butterflies. It is sad that humans have killed enough species of butterflies that that may be accurate. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I know that we have more than that. But... Oh, that wow, was a nice last character. minute dash under. Six and zero are just so short. <laughs> they yeah. are. It, was... It's like when a bad character short, it's like, oh, this is mildly about this. I need to deal with it. But when a good character short, it's like, dang. Yeah. Pet Shop was a non- Oh, and gets the hit with the Whirlwind. Uh, Leon here looking like they're in a scary situation, but uh, needs to fight. Doesn't have the far range assist like X does available. And uh, X has ways of supporting themselves by throwing out those bosses. Oh, oh got the hit on Leon. But we've seen Psylocke is- Psylocke is actually the threat here. She has been the character that is children are its team twice now and is going to... Wow, mm. rare drop. That's the most Deadpool-ass X-Factor activation I've ever seen. <laughs> he learned that. Hey, hey. <laughs> nice work, Dobby. Nice work, Nick. Y'all doing the good work. But uh, X-Factor Butterflies has been the MVP for Dobby. And now is Ninjitsu is active. <laughs> That's so awful. <laughs> okay, oh, the hyper. Dobby, there you go. Wow. That was great work for Dobby. And Renari looked like they were doing well every game, and then Psylocke happened. So, really great Dobby. stuff to, to Dobbylicious moving forward. And good work for Renari, but looks like Dobby made Venom fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, that may help, but we'll see how it ends up working out. And immediately goes for that 6 H, but Legend backing off ends up moving forward. Way too after. good at this. It's Rudolph the Ed Nose Reindeer. Very nice, Jesus. <laughs> Season of Giving Legend. Oh, I also oh, like oh, that's pretty good. Oh, and this builds a lot of meter, but is it going to kill Chris? Chris is a healthy man. I don't think that he dies to the damage of symbiotes like this. Oh, really nice work by Etsudite, recognizing where their drop was and fixing it. Uh, that's one of the most important things for players to be able to do, recognize when things are not going as they anticipated and adjusting accordingly. Oh, got the hit on Chris! And to think, if we ever get Agent Venom, we can have guns and Venom. Is, is Agent Venom anti-Venom right now, or has another person taken on their role, or what's not all of that? Not the uh, symbiote lore at the moment. I just remember when it was okay. Flash Thompson. It may still be Flash Thompson, I just don't know. Oh, but Venom is now dead. He's not ready for the Phantom Dance. Wesker did get here. hit, but Hatsu is so good. It's so fast. Hitbox in front, behind. Does all the work you could need. Eats projectiles. Would you invest X Factor here to kill Thanos? Or would you snap? I, I like the snapping much better. Well, Virgil's present. Then... It's probably better to keep Thanos alive. Okay, with that, the end of Virgil, but now we have X Factor 3 Thanos. I don't think uh, X Factor 3 Thanos is super terrifying, but uh, now he's not at all because he's dead. Living Legend taking the first game over X Factor. Clean Wesker gameplay, and now we're back into it. I mean, Venom did a pretty good job of dealing with Chris last time. Oh, but now the happy birthday, and Thanos is bleeding immediately. But Venom manages to make it out, even after getting shot from the air. And gets the wall bounce, but kicks the wrong way. Oh no, this is a tragedy for Ed Sedai. But Living Legend, always good at taking these opportunities. 
but the pressure by Esadai is too relentless, going to get the jump loop in the corner. Let's see if this time it'll be enough to kill Chris. There is three meters available. Would you go with level three? I don't think Ed ever routes <laughs> towards level three. It's usually a DHC route. Yeah, so this misses most of the beam, which is pretty unfortunate, and doesn't get the combo afterwards, but gets the mix. Nice work to Ed Sedai. Gotta be oh, careful. Gets caught yeah. by the Tatsu. He's gonna <laughs> and immediate you immediately. <laughs> As he should. <laughs> and with that, using the meter, killing the character quickly. And Phantom Dance ends quickly if a character dies, which is one of the things that. Even though, like, uh, Wesker is a meme about being the anchor from 2012, but making it so that your super ends faster and you have more of your X Factor time when you happen to kill someone with it is actually really good for a character's X Factor. And Phantom Dance actually has a lot of hit stop, too, so X Factor is pretty well maintained. <laughs> this is a good ending against Thanos in particular. Thanos gets beamed. I don't think there was any way he was going to be able to punish the DHC, and either you hit him or you got uh, Whisker out. Nice block. Oh, Tabs, I think that a lot, a decent amount of characters can that have upward movement just don't get hit by the level 3. I was testing its hitbox and found that even when it looks like it should hit, if their like, knees are at normal jump height or so, yeah, <laughs> just wanted <laughs> to say that uh, Akuma can definitely get out with the uh, beam clip, though. Oh, De Legend don't know that? <laughs> that? That makes sense. I don't know, his kids are... His kid, one of his kids plays the mods. He may be walking out of the corner of his eye, picking up tricks. Tricks on killing Venom right now, though. Going to take this symbiote down. Ends up tricks dancing to do it meterless. Oh, Thanos managed to get out there. Very nice stuff. Throwing out some of these S's. And the frame trap, Emperor Stance. Emperor Stance is actually just like his highest damage uh, starter, but it's so hard to hit with. So let's see. Oh, ends up doing a, a combo that does not kill. Uh, and now Chris has another opportunity to play and happy birthdays with it. And with the level three. The Lincoln tablet is very is so strong against healthy. Phantom Dance. <laughs> Grenade into Phantom Dance, and this is going to be enough to kill off Thanos. Living Legend takes a trio over Ed Sedai. Very nice work to Legend. Incredible match. Very nice work to both players. Uh, unfortunately, for playing with the Rocket Raccoon and putting it in second with the level 1 Frank on point. Alright, you for you might have issues with Mad Hopper. Ooh, gets a nice determination to kit here. Oh, going to get up to level 3 and then DHC into the trap. That was perfectly and done. Gets the follow up. Level 4 here. That was one of the best but... level 4s I've ever seen. Dogalicious oh, okay. though, still alive with Leon. Oh, got the hit, got the happy birthday, and Rocket Raccoon is bleeding. Rocket Raccoon is so close to dead. Leon's like, this is but... not the first time someone's thrown a dead body at me. Get over it. <laughs> so Rocket Raccoon losing 90% of their life because they came in with so much red. Correction, and 100%. Gets mixed. But uh, Chumagorath, on the other hand, wants to take the 100% of the light here, killing off Psylocke swiftly and going to leave it up to Evil Ryu with X Factor. Oh, Evil Ryu with X Factor can make this happen! Why is Bob oh, just not X Factor? The dramatic effect. <laughs> dramatic That's why Ryu does good. damage regardless. Wait, did Dob change up his team? I thought uh yeah, Silo was a... yeah but who was on there before i'm having a brain fart uh Dobbs was one of the people trying out jake 
Oh, Jake, Jake that's in, right. In that's right. Thing. But on the other hand, did you see how Leon parried uh, Frank, but Frank didn't give a shit? <laughs> oh, and Whoa, this I've time Leon is dead. Though since my match is going to come up after this, I need, to, I need to go use the restroom, so I'm hopping off and leaving you in the excellent hands of Nick Bad and Wizard Dick. Saint Nick Bad. Like... Saint Nick Bad and, and Winter Wizard, Wizard Tim. Wizard Tim. Like, Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> Get the most of your damage. Frank has a decent amount of health by base. Mm, this last yeah, point Frank. Yeah, you know, why not? Quack has that reputation that he can do whatever he wants, and it just makes sense. I mean, point Frank is completely fine, but usually only when you're in Dante as a secondary, because that's a guaranteed five. Yeah, it's just like sometimes Actually, weird point teams Frank's just Dante work. also works. To be any strong, long-lasting. Um, Team like Team Iber works really well for Frank. Like if you want to see a really weird team that works, you know, phenomenally well, just look at DXP's uh, Iron Man team. <laughs> what you mean, Key and Team? Sure. Okay, that's two for Dobby. Making it quick. Is Quack gonna swap it up? Yes. I guess so. Now, what is he what gonna swap it up the to? The Hagar team, I'm guessing. Hey. Yeah. The Hagar team, I think, is really well set up to deal with them. I don't think any of the characters Dobby's fielding right now are really good under intense, like, throw pressure or, like, even an armored option. They're all strong, they have great maneuverability, but, like, if you pin them into a corner, I think they all die really fast. And Modok, I think, is also a character that <laughs> Psylocke is going to struggle immensely against. <laughs> so oh, it goes for the Yeah, cheap. look at Leon's health when you get hit by Hecker. <laughs> Ooh, that was so close. He's a glass boy, you see. He didn't have the training, you know, arc like Chris did. No, no, he just, in RE4, you eat herbs every three seconds, so you don't have to have high HP. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick if, like, uh, you know, like, Leon or Chris Stars, Lesser Stars, had the ability to, like, eat herbs or something. <laughs> I mean, there is a healing mechanic, but only Phoenix Wright has it. True. Is that Monster Hunter, or is that, sp is that a meter? Okay. I don't actually remember. Alright, bye Psylocke. Or not. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, you got the D. Yeah, this Hagar is really well situated for dealing with Dobby's current team arrangement. Oh no, rare drop. Okay. Um, a lot of tagging here. X Factor, yeah. Oh wait, no, we didn't get the pickup. He tried to do dash something, it just did not work. <laughs> hey, hi, Cesario, you you left at like the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, Leon stubby normals just deal badly with the pipe. I mean, the sniper and the, the actual guns are pretty good, but like. You just can't do much when you're in this blip zone. I mean, I think Leon could work really well against Hagar, but like, solo Hagar. He just needs one good parry and Hagar, you know, he's not dead, but he, he can be hurting. Sunlock, pretty damn good damage. Does rely a lot on physical hits. Oh, still not dead. That's... Almost a repeat of last time. That doesn't work. No way that works. Not gonna work. The thing is, just like the Kumas, it's pretty damn terrible. Yep. And also vulnerable to start. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be level 3. Yep. That's the DHC. Top of the screen. Just enough. Okay, with the mix. Oh, does he even go for the uh, Hagar mix? Just... 
I don't know how well Hi Silac deals with Modok Hilo. Does so anyone deal well with Modok? Uh, Magneto, I think. <laughs> oh, drop. I thought he was going to go up and come and grab. <laughs> yeah, yep. just stop at the top of the screen, get the health back for your team. Yep. Because I don't think her teleport can... It doesn't track where you're It your can, but is. I don't think you can get the full confirm. It would be like a single hit. Wow. Cali Kings, why would you say something so brave but so correct? I want to see Quack bring back their hunk. It was really good. All right, I like Dobbs' uh, gambit strictly because he never stops pressing buttons and irritates the living crap out of me when I play him, but he can do it. Wait, did people not know Objection was called Press the Witness? I just knew it as the funny button. Okay, who is he snapping in first? Because Dobby has brought in a lot more, uh, let's say, limbs when br like bringing back uh, Gambit to the team here. Actively rolling to Hyger is probably the bravest thing I've seen tonight. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, fighting Ice and Sarah as a whole, but... Oh. Yeah, you really want to get rid of Gambit. <laughs> nah, I mean, it was a good idea by Doppelish. It's just unfortunate what happened. Alright. Should be able to kill off Hagger with just two supers. Maybe... This does just enough. Okay. Like, honestly, I wouldn't have been surprised if he lived that. Like, not shocked at all. Does that work? No, okay, I was going to say. He did it for movement. He did it for movement. how to deal with the overhead snap. <laughs> he did that for movement. <laughs> oh, he's deleted. Oh my god, look at that damage. Um, if, you, again. if you DHC with Psylocke during her butterfly super, do they stay on the screen or do they go with her? They hang around for a very short increment right afterwards, but then they're gone. Okay. I mean, Dobby's got the health lead, but Quack's Modok has the resources. And so it's Modok. You can Modoc. loop limit as much as you want here. Uh-oh. That's smart. Just try and go for the chip. Doesn't have any meter, though, so can't do that again yet. Oh, <laughs> oh get analyzed. Oh, Dobby just threw all of it forward there. All right. Well, that was a good match. Dobby moves on. Quack takes, I think, fifth. Of course, now it's Pseudomax versus Isisera. We haven't grabbed them with these guys. Grab them, yeah, yeah. Or just the Brute Chopper as a whole. Anyway, into this match. This is a, an equal damage level matchup here. You get touched, you die between these two points, and it's not even going to be close. Nope. You get the mystique uh, of big bodies where they just occupy so much of the screen all at once. Yeah, this match is like the equivalent of like two heavyweight boxers just like no Holy holds bar. Crap. That was so risky. Two Max got out of the corner and almost got to kill on both of them. Stupid hard drive related problems. You know, if Thanos dies, we're gonna all blame Two Max that we can't listen to this song anymore. Good slide. Music. Yep, you have to spend it all if you really want to kill Orange Hulk, though. Besides, so use X Factor, okay. That works. Maybe he just wants to get the momentum going. <laughs> right into <laughs> his arms. The Nova jump scare every time. He reached out and said, Hey, Carol. 
What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Okay, he has to loop one more time. Yeah. Yep. And then I think we can get. I don't think. Yeah, microwave will kill at that point. That was a fantastic block. Except that wasn't. <laughs> it's so slow and yet it just works. The hot tower of moves. <laughs> nope, door and Hulk again. Yep, there's got this one on lock. I mean, as much as I would say use everything to kill Orange Hulk, uh, just the Nova is like the one who I think is the causing the most damage. Well, we'll find out. This character got to live. Man, I sure wish Thing could do that. Oh, did he catch a button? Out oh, no. Yeah, forcing the X-Factor out of Isisera. At this point, Tuna Max is bleeding on the Orange Hulk, so he knows the value of the trade. Yep. I'll just, like, take him. Thank you for building uh, almost a bar. And yep, spends it all. Good tech. Yeah. Wow, what a confirm. Isisera really wants to kill here, or Tuna Max is going to take this momentum and run with it. I don't know what happened with that uh, previous combo. It looked like it was going to hit, but I guess not. Yeah, it's smart. Why didn't Thanos use that in the movie? Um, he lost his daughter. I don't know. <laughs> no, because he had two spee in his sword. Well, I'll, I'll give him a break because he did throw a moon at Iron Man. What a cross under. You know, the funny thing, uh, Washing Machine, is if Tutamax loses, sometimes he'll just go back to normal Hulk and win. It doesn't make any goddamn sense, but he does it. Well, it's just, um, in some matchups, the armor is more relevant than having absurd superiority in movement. In this matchup, though, the movement is Kelly. He gets so many interesting high lows and left rights. But have you seen Hulk move this fucking fast? There's probably a comic series out there where it's like, Hulk tries drugs. <laughs> That's more of them than you think. <laughs> Clapped. I think he still has um, wall bounce? Yeah. Ooh. Well, let's be honest. <laughs> Hulk looks like he's in an 80s you know, movie that's based in Miami. Thank you, Mundank, for a rating of 23 viewers. Hey, Mundank. You're just in time. Yeah, Mundank was actually streaming. Is it something they don't do? Well, I'm confused. Uh, he doesn't do it as much as he used yeah. to. And I make fun of him every single time. Can't say I know Mundank well enough to make commentary. <laughs> call, him a, call him an okay Spencer player. Now you're just being rude. <laughs> no, I'm being truthful. <laughs> right, um, Isisera has completely turned this around match-wise. Now uh, just chasing the whack bot. Yep, had Dex Vector there. She got level 3, so I think this is pretty in the bag on this combo rep. Not gonna drop it on a body that big. I hope not. Spindle <laughs> like <laughs> this woman has the power of a son. So, Fetus, it's not Christmas Carol versus Robot. It's Christmas Carol versus the Tin Soldier or something. Hey, can we have a Nutcracker Sentinel skin, please, Moo? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Thanos as like a disgruntled mall Santa, beards half on, his red suits all stained, pretty much like Bat Santa. He doesn't summon a cosmic cube, it's just a bottle of like gin or vodka.
Oof. Yeah, the heat. I just started just turning it up. Uh, he's got X-Factor, three bars to work with. Isis has got a fully loaded team. It's gonna require some finesse. Ooh, good crap. Ah, crap. Oh. Whipped. That was so lucky that Isis couldn't get that combo. Yep, buttons flying everywhere. Good X-Factor. Yeah. He took a gamble. It didn't pay off. Yeah, the only thing he might have been able to do is like cancel the microwave, but Isis Air probably would have leveled two. Oh, decides to stay with Orange Hulk. Huh? Why did he roll that way? What a weird game. Hitboxes. I guess. I mean, it's, it's better than certain hitboxes in uh, like Guilty Gear, where you literally oh, get no. blasted to the opposite side of the screen max distance. All right, so guys, so how much do we believe in Jill? To be honest, I consider Jill a lot. Like other players, maybe not, but this character's solo won multiple palette swaps and or clone engines. I don't think she's going to win this one. Or at least Can't this match. Good set, good All set, right. good set. God, two to max. Looking real clean as per the usual. The mustache is just so perfectly placed in the wind pose. Who's the cool character? I just could never figure out what his routes were supposed to be. Yeah, jumping off the wall. Oh no. This is a very strong start. Huh, no. I guess it, it hit Akuma and didn't trigger the animation. I mean, that means he didn't get killed for it, but... Killing Akuma would have been a boon. Okay, access to that level of mobility really helpful. I'm sure Duffy doesn't get pinned by Chris. Oh, Fruity, JP can stay in. Uh... Wow, what a grab. <laughs> he just Honestly, grabbed the ether and said, I really, I'm snap your neck. I really don't mind porting JP to this. He'd just be worse to Ormamu. Alright, if everything goes right, Evil Ryu should be dead. Oh. I consider that being right. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, wait a second, let him drop the combo. I'm like, oh wait, no, he didn't. <laughs> Legend only does that to people where he really wants to, you know, like, mess with your mind. <laughs> he wants to mess, he wants to shake you. Uh oh, you're making him pick Gambit. He's gonna hit all the buttons now. <laughs> oh, the Amnesia versus Bionic Arm. I still feel like Bionic Arm wins. <laughs> I think that's a very smart way to deal with Gambit's like card height. Is just going for the prone shot. It's still weird. That there's a fighting game with that as a mechanic. Agent Strike right into the grenade that wasn't even close to him. Hey, okay, Legend just doing what he does best. Precisely that, and nothing more. You see, Living Legend was visited by three ghosts, and after they went through his life, they're like, Wow, why are we even here? Nothing happened. <laughs> You're good, bro. <laughs> So is this actual Evil Ryu's theme, or is it from something else? That is Evil Ryu's theme, not the usual version. I mean, honestly, it sounds like it's like something out of Killer Instinct. I'm kind of down with it. Hage's theme, really? I don't remember. I played Kage, but I don't think I ever listened to his theme. Yeah, if That's anyone doesn't know, this is this is Legend's team. He hasn't deviated at all from it. Sometimes he'll pick Dante. And Meg. 
Good block. Mm -hmm. yeah, wow, I so thought Phantom Dance was going to win there. Said, um, Gambit is a good, very good character, but he's definitely honest, and that's where you're seeing Legend's reactions are just perfectly utilizing what he knows Gambit wants to do. Oh no, Great that's definitely there. not safe. He heard the audio cue and just <laughs> held it back. Okay, up evil Ryu. Great reaction he there. Uppercutted the shit out of Akuma. Nice use of the teleport cancel on the gun. That did like 15% damage. <laughs> Told you, he does chunk. Oh no, you got caught in the freebie. Never get caught in the freebie. <laughs> oh. It's okay, Dobby, I understand. Great show, Dobby. Also, he got Iron Gods here. <laughs> okay, I guarantee you, Legend, even if he's played modded characters, he's probably not played Thanos. I know Kid Legend, uh, Kid Legend plays uh, modded. I don't think he's convinced his dad to play it yet, though. I don't think it's going to happen at this point. So, a uh, score should be zero. There we go. Nice dodge. Wow, I guess Sarah honed in that like a missile. Alright, let's see what Wesker can do. Hmm. How about the tiger? Uh, that is uh, one of the three animal, well, technically two animals that Jill can summon. Yep, they're a reference to the uh, zombie animals from two. No, uh, I think, and I might be wrong, so don't quote me on this. I think Legend has three kids. I know there's Kid Legend, Young Legend, and obviously Living Legend. I don't know about the other one. Like I said, I could be wrong, though. Sometimes I Sarah just stares you dead in the face and does nothing, and it's even scarier than when they try and mix you. What a happy birthday. Quick Akuma action. Yep, and I forget which one, but on one of our other friendo streams, Rise of uh, Rookies, I think it's either Young Legend or Kid Legend does a lot of commentary there, too. Then right, that was zero. a fast dispatch. I may have killed the rest of the team, but until you kill their cat Marvel, I has got a lot of play left. I don't know what happened, but after the super flash, I just saw uh, West got you know chucked. I didn't see anything beyond that. Look at that blood flow. Awesome with the ground. Okay, she's still got three bars, and this is the Kuma. Next touch will kill. Okay, yeah, this round? Maybe not. That's for a reset. Interesting. I thought uh, I probably would have well, wanted to level 3 there. It didn't quite get enough damage. Yeah, but you know, it could have been chip territory. Now, I might die from this. She, she likes driver's seat mix ups generally, so she probably wouldn't go for like the uh, knockdown Whoa. reset. Ooh, that was a little risk. Oh my Keep. god. Keep it simple. Quite simple. Two up by Zara. I don't know what that move was. Was that like her standing H or something? I think. Okay, I think overall the match has been going very well for Legend. She's just getting a little blindsided by Zara's particular ace characters each time. 
His legend generally plays by keeping everything he understands and keeping control of the situation. He's good against Virgilies, he's good against Morgans. He's probably just a little rusty against Star's Chill or Cat Marvel. Very smart Phantom Dance. Uh, unfortunate that it did not hit Jill. That did. Yes, and yeah, X Factor blown. You're not getting that one back. <clears throat> nice use of the Tatsu assist. Because I mean, I remember trying Wesker Akuma back in the day, and I loved it, but I always thought it was too honest. I always see yeah. some new usage of it with how uh, Legend plays this team. Yeah, it's an easy kill route. Now has access to double. Knock down, jump back, beam. All right, all down to Captain Marvel again. No X Factor this game is on far either from side. Over. Oh, almost here to confirm. Far from over. Hey, you know, if the first over, uh, instant overhead doesn't work, just try it again. Fight characters, man. Alright, just challenges the incoming level 3. Easy rat for level 3, one more knock. There you go. Well, I thought that was gonna miss for half a second. And that there damage, yep. jeez. Yep. I think I just made some channel points. And a relaxing moment. Night, Legend Legend. Enjoy your rest. Congrats on third. Mm -hmm. Oh, congrats. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. That's big ass number. Oh, that's like near point blank on that grab height. I think Isis are really trying to jump out there. Good combo. And has access to Crush Height? Oh, we didn't even go for it. I thought maybe Crush and two Microwave would have killed there, but this definitely will. Sick, just tell Kevin that he's never going to get another one of your cookies ever. I think that's a good punishment. Wow. Normally, Hop I would be sadder, the Grinch. But never trying Psychilix cookies, but there are so many cookies around my house at the moment. Ah, yeah, speaking of sure, I've been trying to cut back a little bit too, especially for the holidays. I went to the gym today. I worked out my legs for like two hours, so if I get called into work, I have an excuse not to go in. <laughs> like, sorry boss, can't walk. Beam exchange here. Okay. Sincera did preemptively X Factor a little here. Let's see if this pans out the way they hope it will. I mean, two max can sort of rest on the worlds and get a little help back on Orange Hulk while they've got X Factor in the tank. Just both filling each other out. Look at that throw. Oh no. A rare and unfortunate drop. Oh, Jill covering it. That power slam assist from Orange Hulk is mysteriously good if you actually get it in the hit zone, because it's a big blast. Okay, that all pans out, and Tuta doesn't even get to use his X Factor. One up, Isera. Yep, yep. Will we actually have a reset? I mean, if Isera plays like that two more times. Well, don't call it a curse. Okay, never mind, it wasn't a curse. Certainly a meter boost. I just love playing in core. <laughs> I don't. It's terrifying and stupid. <laughs> it Unless Thing gets it, then it's though. okay. I am off it. <laughs> okay, wall bounce. Heavy. Are you gonna go for cross up here? Yes. Yes, he is. That is so scary. Cross under, cross up. Cross up. Oh. 
Okay. I think that was about to be a command throw, but uh, yep. my sister. No, 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 it was all part of the plan. My sister using 200% of her brain. Usually does. That was definitely a brainy mix there. It almost paid off. Wow, challenges. I've the definitely with. seen that before. <laughs> the better question is, two to max. If he loses this one, oh, almost dead. Uh, will he go back to normal Hulk? Good question. Um, high chance, but not completely. And this character is hella dead. That ain't got that HP. I think that super would be even more messed up if, like, it took in, like, uh, if it hit more people based on the body size. So, like, Sentinel and Hulk would be mega hit by that. But, like, Rocket Raccoon would only hit, get hit a little bit. Look, it's bad enough that Virgil does that. <laughs> Perpetuate. <laughs> and yep. Honestly, the the armor I think matters more than the mobility here, with just how much he's getting hit by like flailing limbs. That said, that is a multi-hit when Thanos jumps, so. Not guaranteed. Well, yeah, Thanos is guaranteed dead. I mean, he's an X-Factor, I should hope. <laughs> Hulk X's and doesn't kill you. There is something seriously wrong with your friend. Please go check them. Wow, that actually hit. Must have been hitting a button. Fuck the cat. That good force of the X Factor there. Oh no, oh, no. She dead. is such an easy punish route for this. Yep, yeah. dead robot, dead Nova. Plenty of bar. And oh yeah, X Factor Hulk. You haven't heard of this character before, and you never will. <laughs> Alright, and with that, Isis Hera resets the bracket. Isis Hera really wants to win tonight. <laughs> <laughs> she needs some money to go Christmas shopping for her, like the last minute gifts. Shout out to those people who uh, don't know what their people want and don't just buy them something stupid. Nice pick. Ooh. I don't think I Sarah thought Thanos was going to roll out there. But I could be wrong. Oh, that could have been bad. Good challenge on the uh, command grab, though. Also, the hit stun was just a little too uh, early on that, so you didn't get the opening half of that throw. Uh oh. Drop into combo. Yep, but a good tech chase, and that's gonna be a dead Hulk. Quite a few layers to avoid there. Okay, human rocket available. It's like Sentinel's head got hit by the beam. Absolutely sniping the toe. Alright, Dead Nova, I completely agree. Get rid of this character. Say, you're dead until you get a Disney Plus series. Ooh, even with the trade. <laughs> Turtle Doves Max. That's actually really good, Fruity. Or, sorry, Festive Fetus. Okay, all up again to Sentinel. Tunex really putting in good work with this character, but sometimes it's just that easy. Oh, fruitcake fetus, yeah, you're right. So does Thanos snap uh, do chip damage, or is it just kind of like uh, Shinnikubas? Ooh. I swear was baiting or hoping for that happy birthday, but Hulk said no. I hate that mix-up so fucking much. <laughs> okay, it relies on the uh, DHT to keep it safe. Yep. Good 
be careful. Isisera has beam. He has X Factor. That was a good X Factor, though. Now we just see oh, two no. characters hitting Box Dash and H. <laughs> yep. This is the, the uh, 20XX of the Marvel Universe. That was completely 100% planned by Tutamax. He will die on that hill saying it. Truly. And yep, right. DHC to capture. Oh, why are you smash puny space man? That's not very nice. Ooh, goes for the command grab. They're rare, but still very scary command throw. And Tutamax is the most well-tuned team to utilize it. Without a doubt. Is there a Hulk TAC infinite? I want to say there is. I've just never seen it. I'm sure it's theoretical. I'm not sure it's actually yet. Yeah, it's probably like like one or two reps of it. You need <laughs> Shuma. Okay. okay. That makes sense. You need the OTG height. Ooh, rare drop, though. Ooh, Besides there, use the X-Factor. The situation repeats itself quite oh, often no. where Zazera has to uh, X-Factor to protect them when they throw out a Hyper. I think the snap was a good idea. I just don't think it works against uh, Human Rocket. I think Isis is beginning a little psyched. It's a big thing like Tutamax's style of play. They're just throwing at hypers and then having to X Factor to save themselves. Oh no, rare drop. Oh, it's not a drop, it's the opponent insta snaps. What a confirm though. Uh oh. Okay, <laughs> it was all set up. Ooh, you're gonna regret that one. Don't call it a comeback. All right, Whackbot. This is a terrible place to be for Whackbot. Jill has so many tools that you can't avoid. True. I was gonna say they both have enough meter, but I think uh, with the right combo, that's gonna be a dead Whackbot. Right combo. At level two. It goes up. Level Guns. three. Or level one. <laughs> Okay, up to the there too. So close. All right, Christmas so stick with his guns. You can smell it before you can taste it. Almost gets a happy birthday. It's both. Yeah, killing Jill worth a million dollars in this matchup. Yep. But don't. Count Captain Marvel out. Because even if Isisera loses this match, we still have okay, one more game. Drone to the players. <laughs> what a grab. Too late. You got the, the smallest ones. You can't get any more. Okay. I don't know how much damage you can milk out of this DHC. Just enough. Probably just enough. Hmm. One last game. Determined who we taking home a small uh, shopping spree to their local holiday goods store. Yep. I'm actually more impressed that we're going to get done with this tournament before midnight. That's a real Christmas miracle right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, how, how can Santa play in the bracket if he's starting so early? Kidding. <laughs> Actually, chat, here's a great thing to ask for the end of this match. What team does Santa play in this game? Mm. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Santa probably plays ZMC. <laughs> like... Ooh, I thought that wasn't going to kill for a second. Yeah, neither did uh, Isisera. 
Yeah, I try to go for the meaty. Immediately takes a uh, hard drive to the face. All right, so that's a start for Tutamax. Two good guesses. Ooh, that was a good guess in oh, itself. Ooh, that was a really good guess. guess. Microwave. Okay, this is pretty damn even. Okay. He still got a little. Ooh, good fly. Yeah, it didn't immediately. It did immediately no! go for the launcher. <laughs> the crouching medium. Oh, and our game freezes buckets. right. Holy buckets, the bucket just took it. To max. Congratulations. Yep. I mean, you had to use base characters to win, but, you know, you all can't, you know, do it.